Well, as we head toward the weekend, we are monitoring the path of Tropical Storm Cristobal, which could bring some big impacts to Louisiana, depending on the track that it does take. Here is a look at the latest advisory from 10 o'clock. Its winds have increased slightly to 50 miles per hour, and it's still forecast to meander over the southern Gulf of Mexico over the next several days before it finally makes a turn to the north and then eventually making a little bit of a turn more toward the northwest. What's different with this track is they've extended the cone slightly to include more of south southern Mississippi, uh, but also putting a landfall a little bit closer now to the Louisiana coast by Sunday evening. Forecasts have 65 mile per hour winds and just offshore. So looking at going into the evening on Sunday into the early morning hours on Monday, maybe when this system makes landfall. And right now that looks to be likely in Louisiana, but we have a lot of things to go through over the next several days and that can change. So right now still sitting over the southern Gulf. You see the convection trying to start wrapping around the system and get better organized, but it is forecast to move further inland and make a landfall in Mexico. Then based on that interaction with the land as it reorganizes over the southern Gulf, the center of it may move slightly and that would change the track. So that's why we still have unfortunately all this uncertainty with it to try to give you at least a little bit of timing of when you could expect something as we go into early Sunday morning. This is the most likely period of the approach of tropical storm force winds. That's 39 miles per hour or greater could be overnight Saturday, but especially into Sunday morning along the coast is when we could start to see some of those gusty winds. Looking at the European models forecast, it shows it moving on shore for several days, and so that will weaken it considerably, but then as it moves back over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, it will re-strengthen and you start to see some rain bands moving in late Saturday night and then into Sunday morning. So we could see periods of heavy rainfall, also some storm surge along the coast as winds will continue to push some of the water on shore. We are concerned for that potential for some coastal flooding as well through this time period. Then looking at Sunday evening, you can see it approaching the Louisiana coast just off to our west. And so the major impacts would be along where that landfall is, but still being on the east side of that storm, we're still going to have rounds of rainfall to deal with and some gusty winds. And of course, as I've mentioned, this track can change. Then it moves up toward north Louisiana by Monday evening and then scoots off to the north Tuesday and Wednesday. And then our forecast does start to improve. Winds will start to increase Saturday afternoon. You see some gusts down toward the coast 30 miles per hour and then getting into Sunday, increasing 40, 45 mile per hour wind gusts at times as we continue to see those breezy conditions through Sunday and into the first half of Monday before we start to see that system lifting out. Now over the next several days, we're going to see that potential for afternoon rain and storms. So some locally heavy rain going to be possible through the rest of the week. And then once the system arrives, you know where the heaviest downpour is set up, we could see some rainfall totals two to five inches plus of rain, depending on where it actually ends up. So right now, unfortunately, too soon to know the direct impacts for us, but looking at that possibility for some tropical downpours and winds going into the later part of the weekend and into Monday. So we'll have to continue to monitor that forecast. We had some rainfall earlier this evening, starting to wrap up a few isolated showers down toward the coast. Temperatures right now are in the 70s to low 80s. We had heat index values earlier around 98 to 99 degrees and highs in the area have been in the 80s to low 90s. Here's a look at the rainfall chances each afternoon going into Wednesday. You see more widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms. That's going to continue to be the pattern for Thursday, even some heavier rain into the evening. And then by Friday, we'll continue to see those rain chances off and on each day. Checking out your seven day forecast again, your forecast for the weekend going to depend on the tropics and we'll keep you updated every step of the way.